morning children i am suresh your math teacher i hope that you all are staying safely at home during this pandemic time from today i am going to conduct digital class for class 12 math and our first topic is continuity which is also the first topic under calculus and calculus carries 40 mark in your board exam that is in isc this continuity i am going to make two video for this continuity chapter in first video there will be explanation and some sums and in second video some solution of some sums will be there so please go through the video again and again so that you can get the clear concept and at the end of the video i will send you some pdf file which will contain questions from your book along with answer let's get started children you have already completed limits in class 11 and here to understand the concept of uh, or to solve sums of continuity uh, you need the concept of limits so it is not new for you only some additional part is there and how can you check the continuity of a function
you are asked to show the function this is continuous at x equal to 1. What will we do? First of all, we will calculate the functional value, that is, value of the function at the given point, that is, at x equal to 1. And for x is equal to 1, the expression is your this. So over here, we will put the value of x, that is, 5 into 1 minus 4 and after solving we are getting 1. Now find left hand limit. Limit x tends to 1 minus fx. Here minus sign is to denote that you are finding left hand limit for the function this. Now x tends to 1 minus in place of fx. This means when the value of x is slightly less than 1. So, in that case, we have to use this expression because for less than 1, we have this expression. So, 5x minus 4. And after doing this, now we will replace this with h tends to 0. And over here, we will put in place of x 1 minus h. This we already did in class 11. So, or you can write here put x equal to 1 minus h. As x approaches to 1, h will approach to 0. And put this in brackets. After writing this, when you want to find left hand limit, you always, you have to replace x with this point minus h. And here you have to write h tends to 0. Now put the value of h 0. 1 minus 0, minus 4, and thus we are getting here 1. So, we got functional value and left hand limit, both are coming same. Now, we will calculate right hand limit. Now replace this with s tends to 0 and when you want to find right hand limit, what you have to do? You have to replace x with this plus h. So 1 plus h. Power is 3, so here minus again in place of this x we will write 1 plus h. This all put in the bracket like this. Now put the value of h 0, 1 plus 0 whole cube minus 3, 1 plus 0 equal to 4, 1 cube minus 3 into 1. That is, after solving, we are getting 1. Previously, we got for functional value as x f1 was our 1 and left hand limit value was also 1. And here we are getting right hand limit value also 1. So we can write now since limit x tends to 1 plus fx equal to limit x tends to 1 minus fx equal to f1 equal to 1. So the function is continuous. So the function is continuous. Continuous at x equal to 1. 